guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Nancy from nancybatijo.com and welcome to another XC tutorial. Um, on today's tutorial, I kind of wanted to talk about XC rank and also marmalade. I usually use XC rank, but they both work in similar. Um, they have both the same structure when it comes to your XC listing and um, XC rank and also your XC grades or your listing grades basically so a lot of people have questions about the changes lately and how come their grades have dropped and um, people some people are freaking out about it some people um, want to know more about it some people never heard of it right so I wanted to kind of do a little video and touch base on it so as you've noticed I don't know if you guys saw in my Facebook group if you're not a member um, the link is below, I had published, or I had not published, but I had posted or shared um, the ultimate guide to XE search. This is a guide that XE released on September 19, and it's almost like the, it's almost like a step-by-step -step on everything you have to do um, with the new changes that XE are doing and everything that you should do or incorporate in your listing to have to increase your sales and have better visibility and little tips and tricks that you could do to kind of um, just improve the overall of your shop and optimize your shop to the fullest. So with these changes that XC made, Marmalade and XC Rank um, went ahead and did the changes as well. So before, um, when you were looking at your listing grades, like if you went to XC, um, rank.com and you logged in and looked at your x um at your listing ranks or your listing grades sorry about that um they were probably all a's or you, maybe you had all b's but with the changes now if you haven't incorporated the changes that xe made in the last couple days then your grades have dropped i know mines have dropped i i had them i had my grades all a's and b's and now I have mostly B's and C's. I don't have no A's right now. But that's because of the changes that happen within XC. And therefore, XC Rank and Marmalade have um, made those changes so swell on XC Rank. Now, keep in mind that just because your grades drop, right, doesn't necessarily mean that you won't get found on the search engine. Or let's say your grades actually increase. Let's say now you got all A's. It's the opposite. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're also going to get sales. Because you could have all A's and still not make any money on XE. And the reason why I say that is because you got to keep in mind that XE rank um, the grades. It's just a, a simple guide. It's not telling you that all oh, your keywords are perfect and you're targeting the perfect people and you did everything else perfect. It does not do that. Do not get it confused that if you get an A, you're going to see sales coming in and you should expect to see sales. No, it's just a guide, a simple SEO audit on each listing, basically. It's like a guide that tells you if you have complied with SEO guidelines that XC follows, like the XC Seller Handbook, and that Google Webmaster. So Google Webmaster is um, it's a free tool that you could sign up for, and it basically tells you the it it, it basically um has all the rules of SEO and what you should be doing, like on page factors, all page factors. Those rules are like, for instance, do you have ten photos? Check. Do you have your main keyword? In the beginning of your title, check. Do you use all 13 tags in your listing description? Check. Do you have the keywords distributed throughout your listing description? Did you insert your keywords here in this section? Did you put them throughout here? Check. Those, that's like an audit. So the, if you follow those simple things that you have your keyword in your title, you have your keyword in the first 160 characters, you have your keywords throughout the listing description. You have all 10 photos. You have um, your attributes. You have this and that and that and that. 
it gives you a grade. It'll say A or B or C. However, you could do everything. You could have all the check marks, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're doing SEO correctly. Because if you're selling, like this is something that I sell, it's a logo. So if I if I use one of the keywords as, let's say, business, I just put business as a keyword for this logo. Guess what? I might get a B or an A on XE rank, but I might not be found because business, one, the keyword business is oversaturated on XE. And two, I'm not targeting my audience. If you sell something, let's say you sell um, a picture frame, right, for your house, for decor. If you put living room, because you just decide I'm going to use that keyword because you could put this in the living room, guess what? You're, you're targeting an audience that's so big that, one, your keyword's oversaturated. Two, you're not going to be found organically. And three, you're not targeting your audience. So therefore, and then four, if you run an ad on XE, it's going to cost your arm and a leg because you're going to have to pay your cost per bid is going to be higher. And even if you lower the cost per bid and you set an amount of like, let's say, 10 cents per click, now your ad is not going to be in the first page of XE. It might appear on the fifth, sixth, seventh. And there's no, you know, a lot of people don't pass page two of either XE search results or whether they're looking at, you know, google.com, you might not pass the second or third page. You might just go and find anything in the first page and click there. So therefore, um, don't get it confused that if you have an A, oh, I'm doing everything perfect. No, because you could still be targeting the wrong audience. You could still be using keywords that are too oversaturated or that keywords that don't really describe your item. So if, if I sell logos, I would put, you know, wedding planner logo. Somebody might look for it that way, but I wouldn't put just business, blogger, girl boss. Those keywords, one, don't go with it. Maybe put business logo, right? That would be more legit, more um, targeted to an audience that might be interested in what I sell. However, these broad terms um, really don't get you a lot of traffic. And that's where the long keywords come in. Uh, and that's why Etsy recommends using long keywords because then you could find your target audience using long keywords. But I did want to um, emphasize that Etsy rank, and when you go and look at your grades, it's just a simple audit. It's like a checklist. And it's going to check, okay, do you have, you know, your keywords in your in your title? Check. Do you have all 13 keywords? Check. You know, do you have, it tells you right here, do you use multi-word tags? All check, you see? Do you have um, category duplicate? Check. Attribute? Check. Similar tags? Check. Is spelling correct? Check. And you see how all across I have green? That's because I follow all the guidelines that they have. Do you have an attribute? I don't. The reason why I don't choose, I didn't choose an attribute it's because the attributes that they have really don't go with my listing. You don't have to do everything to the T that they recommend. Just do the, the basic, the principal stuff. If, if no attribute you know goes with what you're selling, you don't necessarily have to put it. Um, did I pick a category? Yes, I did. And it's the, it's the right category. Logos and branding. So check. Did I use a lot of photos? I did. Did I use all 10? No, I used eight. But to be honest, eight is, a, is pretty good in my opinion. Now, if you have one photo, you might want to reconsider and maybe add like at least five minimum. At least, you know, make it full. However, you see how it's in yellow. It didn't give me the green because I didn't use all 10 spots. So these are just best practices that, you know, um, XE wants you to follow in order to optimize your listing, in order for you to to get viewed, to is is basically teaching you the proper way to set up a listing. Um, like right here is you know it's telling me that my title is not written, you know, it's too long. It's not written like normal, like a normal person would read it. See, it looks like it told me these are suggestions it gives you. It looks like your title 
may may have been written for computers, not human. And that's because, you know, I just went in and I put my keywords in the title. That's what I normally do. I do that with all my listings. So now, with the new um, XC changes, they don't want you to put all the keywords in your title. They want you to write, they want you to put the most important keyword in the beginning, but they also want you to write a short title that describes what you're selling, um, that's easy for the person to understand what they're buying, and that's it. Now, does it mean that I'm going to go back and change everything? It depends if my sales drop or whatever. Maybe I will. But for now, I'm not. I'm going to leave it how it is because for me, it's been working that way. Um, I don't think that I've never had an issue with someone not understanding what I sell because I do a pretty good job with the photos. I do a pretty good job with the listing description, breaking it down, explaining exactly what they're buying, how to order, what's included, download, printing, etc. So based on that, I, I don't feel the, the need to change my title because I don't feel like my potential buyers are confused. However, if you don't have a good listing description and you don't have a good photo and you got all these massive keywords and then keywords that don't um, describe what you're selling, you're just putting any keywords, that might cause confusion for sure. So, so two things to take today on this video. One, an XC grade, right? Like a, a grade from XC rank or if you use Marmalade, a grade in there doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing SEO correctly or that you're doing it incorrectly. It's just a guide. It's a guide. It's like a checkbox that tells you, okay, you use the keyword in the title, check. You use the keyword in the beginning of your listing description, check. You use the keyword throughout the listing description, check. You use all 10 photos, check. You used attributes, check. You chose the right category, check. You you know, you you put all the 13 tags on the bottom of your listing, check. It's just a check mark. And the more you fill that in, the more that you do, the higher the grade. Does it mean that the SEO is done correctly? No, because if you went and just picked any keywords, didn't do SEO research, you don't understand target audience, and you just put in, you know, for a home print, you're putting business, or you're using just any type of keywords, you could still get an A as a grade, but to be honest with you, you're not getting the traffic, the views, the sales, or you might be getting a lot of um, impressions, but no sales. And that's because a lot of people are seeing it, but you're targeting the wrong people. Sometimes it's better to have less impressions and less views and more sales because now you're targeting the right audience. So I hope that this video um, does help with the whole um, the grading system. Keep in mind, you know, like I said earlier, this is just to kind of give you a little checklist of things that you should be doing um, in your listing that will help you optimize um, your listing the correct way for SEO best practices, which is normally these are the things that you do on a page to be found in the search engine. However, they're not teaching you how to find keywords. They'll give you suggestions, right? Like you should use these type of keywords or you should do long tail keywords or you should do... But they're not going to teach you about target audience. They're not going to teach you how to do XC keyword research. However, they do have the tool for that. So XC Rank and Marmalade allow you to go under tools and keyword. And you can start doing the research. But you have to have the understanding of it first. That way, when you start doing research, you understand how, what keywords to use and which ones not to use. Um, so I hope that this tutorial was helpful, that you learned something new, that you understand the, the grading process a little bit more. And guys, I'm trying to create a sense of community that we all come together. We help each other. We have enough room on XE for everyone to be successful. So if you have any tips about XE rank or Marmalade, um, anything you have learned with the new changes that XE have made, make sure that you leave a comment below. 
Um, make sure that you like this video and make sure that you subscribe to my channel if it's your first time watching. But make sure that you leave a comment that way we could all learn from each other. Um, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.